Hey guys, welcome back to Iron Man. The Magia Factory. The Mafia's private military facilities host four factories used to create weapons derived from Stark technology. Destroy these factories and shut down the Mafia's weapon production. Woohoo! Let's do it. Oh, you get to upgrade, that's right. Oh, you don't have any money. I'm broke. Nine million dollars and broke. Man. See, question is, what costs a hundred and seventeen million dollars that I'm doing to this? The power, man. The power. Nothing in this life is free. Some things are very, 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 very expensive. Huh. So, I can either do this and make a rapid unibeam, or make this, and when I get hit, I get energy. But it doesn't mitigate the damage. Okay. I think I want faster unibeams. Alright. So, Rudy, you gonna be my wingman? Everything's always a joke with you. <laughs> Who whizzed in your cornflakes, buddy? Listen, the Magia headquarters are the backbone of the production lines. You take those out and you'll cripple the factories, okay? I'm on it. And who's holding down the company fort while you're out there? Uh, not my problem. I'm the idea guy. I let suits like Stain handle the day to day. You'll never change, Tony. Uh, why should I? Factory coming online. Vehicles being refueled and armed. I'm on it. Tony, I know these factories are filled with Magia reinforcements, but the workers aren't there by choice. They're innocents. Other options, Jarvis? The command center is heavily reinforced, but its destruction will shut down factory production. Got it. Area lightly defended, sir. Shouldn't be a problem for my repulsors. So we gotta try not to kill people. Factory initiating lockdown. That's it. No more toys for Magia. Three command centers remaining. Tony, I've seen this before. They're going to kill the factory workers once the Magia vehicles clear out. But if you take out the command center, you can lock down the factories. Come on, why would they kill them? Tony! Take out the command center and shut down the factories. This isn't a game. Heavy ground defenses detected, sir. And they provided me with the perfect offense, their own missiles. Good job. Factory initiating lockdown. Two command centers remaining. That dude was wrong. This is a game, and we're playing it. Don't let him know. You know how I know it's a game? Because we're going up, 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 like a bucket on a truck. We fly so high, high, like a bucket on a truck. I can't get a ruse out of Ethan this morning at all. He's just stone faced over there. He looks like Iron Man. You are dead. So it looks like you can't even lose this game. Yeah, it's impossible to die. You just reboot the system. Factory initiating lockdown. All factories now I'm guessing if you maybe kill innocent civilians, it just games you over or something like that. Nah, those are just hero objectives. Civilians are acceptable casualties. It's just we'd rather not kill them. You hear that, guys? You could die, and the game will continue on without you. Isn't that weird that some games do that? Yep. Who are these dudes? Scarlatti, come on, can't you read? This guy's nuts. He's gonna kill those civilians to cover his ass. Find out who this bastard is, would you? Oh, Scarlatti. I don't know how he got to this frequency. He's annoying me in my commentary, though. How about you, Ethan? Is he annoying you at all? He's interrupting my monologuing. Yeah, blow him up. I wonder where he is. There's supposed to be some bosses in this game. We have not seen one. Yeah, we have. We do? We At have? the end of every level, those big guys with the big health bars. Right? I thought we just fought like a helicopter last time. The really tough tank, the giant tank with three engines on the back. Those count as bosses? Okay. I think so. Okay. I thought it was going to be like an also? actual, uh, yeah, like a superhero, like a, or a super villain, I should say. It did say there were super villains in the game. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to fight him in his huge suit like at the end of the game. Or movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is 
So, we're just flying around, hanging out, Iron Man style. I'm very curious to see how they improve this game with Iron Man 2. Better graphics. Better That's graphics. It. That's it. Better winking movement. Wink button. Yeah. Yeah, but in all seriousness, I am very curious. This game could use a lot of improvements, in my opinion, so... I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do. And I don't think there's a third Iron Man, so I think they just stopped at 2, so I'm guessing 2 was a complete disaster. That's just my guess. I haven't looked at 2 at all, so... In the next game, the left stick is used exclusively for winking. That would be great. Game of the year. I think the idea of this game is cool. Just really poorly done. Yeah. It's just too repetitive. Could have also been made more difficult very easily. I don't think it was supposed to be. I think it was one of those things where you suit up as Iron Man and you can just destroy everything. One of those type of games. I guess. I don't think people play it for difficulty. We're not playing Iron Man for realism? Mm -mm. Also, you're only playing on normal. You could have played on hard. Yeah. And you're getting knocked out here, so... I'm... I haven't shot at a single thing other than the objective yet, though, and you're supposed to be trying to destroy everything, kind of. Dropship's incoming, sir. Tony, I've got info on this Maggio guy. Okay, lay it on me. His name's Mark Scarlatti. Says he's a former engineer at Stark Industries. Mimimetic molecules, synthetic muscles. Now he's with Maggio. Scarlatti? Okay, that means we're fighting Stark tech. Stolen and pushed to Maggio. At least I'm not to look for the kill switch. I can't tell if this is Robert Downey Jr. in the suit. I know he talks during the cutscenes, but I can't tell if it's him in the suit or not because of the weird echo effect they put on it. Target is within range. Yeah, yeah, I see him. Patch me through. Contact established. Who is this? Good to see you again, Scarlatti. Tony Stark! Got a new resume? Maybe we could give you a second chance? Whoa! You got wrecked by Whiplash, who is actually the villain in the second Iron Man, but he looks completely different in this game. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. He looks way more robotic in this game. Looks a lot cooler. Looks more like a cyborg. So I think you're going to be knocked out so many times. Okay. So I guess we'll cut forward until we get to that part. Unless we got a checkpoint. Contact established. Who is this? Good to see you again, Scarlet. Tony Stark! Got a new resume? Maybe we could give you a second chance? You son of a bitch! My work helped make you rich! You should have never fired me! You were stealing pants! So Tony knows Whiplash in this game, which is kind of interesting. Also, you know what's kind of ironic? Hmm. Is we were talking about how easy the game was, and then you fully died. Well, we were thinking the game was easy because we thought you couldn't fully die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we think your lives are the four little dots below the health. Which would make sense. There's a lot of stuff going on on the HUD, so... We don't really know what everything does, we just kind of shoot. Whoa! Trying to give me whiplash? <laughs> very funny, Stark. Yeah, very funny, Stark. I wish I could make jokes as good as you, Stark. You always were too cocky, Stark. Oh, you been talking to your sister? You know, you're not very discerning with your clients, Scarlatti. We don't judge our clients. It's not good for business. You can learn a thing or two from us. Yeah, well, I'm not much into genocide, Scarlatti. You've made enemies recently, Stark. You don't know what you're getting into. Teach me how to play nice, Scarlatti. Go up and punch him in the face. In his stupid, wiry neck. You're digging your own grave, Stark! Don't worry, you're in my will. Get him. Get him. Rip him apart. You think you can stop us here? We're everywhere! 
everywhere. This is nothing. No worries. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Pilot, Tony. You ever think about joining the military? Brody, you know I'm allergic to brass. So what now? I'm gonna finish what I've started. What a boss fight. What a boss fight. Right, Ethan? I've never fought a boss so difficult in my life before. Don't jinx yourself again. I can see you dying in this mission complete screen. I think you failed everything, by the way, as well. Okay. No, I succeeded the hero. I haven't, I haven't completed one of those ever because I have to either destroy every single enemy, which you don't want me to do. Okay. Or I have to beat it in under nine minutes, which is like speed run speed. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't like all the violence. Yeah. So I don't want Ethan to hurt everyone. I can get the Gatling repulsor, the Messon repulsor, the Ion repulsor. Gatling sounds really cool. Yeah, it does. Ready for some winking? Bring on the winks. Your company is under siege. So is mine. Groups like the Magia are becoming a serious problem. They want what you and I have. What about the billionaire brat? <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's ready to retire. He's entering the philanthropic phase of his life. A merger would be a smart move. For both of us. We'd be stronger, more profitable, and safe from outside influence. It is an extraordinary offer. I'd like to think so. Tell me you'll give it some thought. Are you kidding? Of course. Well... Awkward silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looked like he was praying or something. Anyway, we'll see you guys all next time with more Iron Man.